Welcome, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 12th, 2018. I'm Scott Patton, your host. Joining us is Coach Jay. We're going to be taking a look at uh, some opportunities to make money with stock options. Uh, we want to show you that pretty much every day there are opportunities to make some money, sometimes like really amazing percentage points, sometimes not so high. You just take what the market can give you. And as we're approaching Christmas, we're going to be seeing that a lot of the, uh, the market players are taking time off. They're not, uh, they're not trading. Everything kind of slows down and uh, it makes for a different set of challenges. So Coach Jay, welcome to the show. Hey, Scott, how are you? I'm doing great. So were we able to make some money today? We were. Um, today is, like like you said, getting close to the holidays. Things are getting uh, choppy, and it is only starting starting to get into the time frame for only diligent traders. So let's take a look here. Today for our first trade, we're going to look at Square. Moving forward, you can see here that uh, Square isn't doing much, and that is also in line with the basket currently. Basket is kind of the aggregate of all the stocks we have that are best for trading options. And you can see it is sideways, about as sideways as you can get. I don't think that there's much uh, much room for argument on that one. And the overall, it's telling you with these kind of indicators here, cautious selective trading, low volume, most trades lack follow through. It's really setting some expectations that today may not be, you know, one of the better days of the year, but we're going to see what we can get anyways. So here in square, what I'm looking at right now is it's kind of met a resistance point here, a couple different resistance points and wanting to see if it's going to decide to kind of bounce around or maybe possibly break out a little bit of that. And here we go. It's gone up above and it's got some power. It's got some volume with it. And so we're gonna go ahead and buy a call. And we'll just move forward. We're looking towards that blue line there at the top. So right now we're at 8%. And you can see that if you continued that it didn't, uh, didn't go well. It touched the, the blue top just uh, exactly as where I was looking at for it to go. And so we will go ahead and get out of that with an 8% on a day where most trades lack follow through and is choppy and low volume. So 8% on square and I'll take that money and run. Beautiful. And so even with low volume choppy markets, as long as you're patient and diligent, you'll be able to find some of these opportunities, kind of hidden gems, but they're not going to pop out as big necessarily. Or sometimes if they do, they may be shorter in nature. Move forward here. And let's go to IMW or IWM, I'm sorry. Same setup here, except we're, we're gonna be looking at breaking above the blue line. You can see it's kind of met some resistance here. It hasn't done much, but generally speaking, you can see on these volume spikes that these are the buyers. So it is, although flat for the beginning of the day, there's some interest. It's just not big, huge bursts that are long and, and sustaining. So right here, we've got a volume spike and we've got some of these indicators that are only with Day Trader Genius software, such as this green and this blue here, indicating to us that uh, we're in a, a good moment. 
let's go ahead and buy a call and move forward and see what we uh, end up with. <clears throat> Now, based on the day, look at the size of this spike and look at these other spikes. You can see it's increasing, but you know the bigger spikes for the day from the previous part of the day uh, almost are indicating a turnaround. And so I don't wanna stick around and wait for uh, anything, anything different to happen. We're not at necessarily a resistance point, where I would be really eager to get out. But based on the day with the low volume and how it's kind of gone sideways, and you can see these movements are pretty short. This is kind of the longest movement and you've got volume spikes. We're gonna go ahead and take the money and run on that. I'm not gonna wait to get up to a predefined uh, exit point. We'll call that volume spike the exit point on a day like today. So we'll take 9%. And there was one more trade today that I want to show you. This one, same day. And you can see later in the day, it's saying choppy day. We already knew that. And it's obvious that not much is happening but you're getting these sideways movements and then kind of these a little bit longer runs uh, compared to some of the other stocks we just looked at although not a lot of power behind it now things change when we get here see the size of these candles compared to the rest of these candles something's going on with home depot and there's some interest being generated at this time do we care about why or Who's doing it? No, we don't. The software gives us the indicators that there's more interest being generated, so therefore it piques our interest. And you can see here a volume spike, and it's looking like it may break out of some of this resistance into some new territory that it hasn't been in for the day. So let's just see what happens, make sure it proves it to us. So we're gonna watch that, we're gonna be interested in that. And then this is where I get a lot more interested. It stayed up above this point where it had originally stopped and it sucked back down to. This had gone up and then sucked back down, but still above this point. So I'm interested in getting in here. We'll pull this by close over and move forward. For a day like today, I'm calling it good. There's a couple reasons for it, but the big one is that as it, our software tells you, it's a choppy day. It's not a fantastic day. There has been some interest generated in Home Depot for the day, and it's got, look how far it's moved from top or from bottom to top in a short amount of time compared to the rest of the day. So with that and this candle pattern here, I'm gonna go ahead and exit with 8% and not push it to a, you know, a predetermined resistance line. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this is good enough for a day like today. Yeah, on a choppy day, you don't wanna be greedy. No, you don't. And in review, you know, some of this stuff turns around pretty fast. And I think uh, this one may go on a little bit longer. Nope, this one does turn around. So you could you would have <laughs> you would lost feel really bad a minute later, wouldn't you? You would have. You would have Three lost minutes, all, right? all your mm -hmm. profit. So yeah. you know, say you were trying to you know run this all the way up to RB or something like that, because that's that's just what you've told yourself. That's your pre-planned exit exit strategy, and you're just you're just going to make it happen. You're just going to will the market to get there. You're going to stay in no matter what. Well, you would have lost your profit in one minute from that kind of attitude. So being able to have an extra strategy and an idea of when you want to get out is very important prior to getting in.
but it's also important to be flexible within the trade as things yeah. develop. Yeah, understand what the market's going to give you. Absolutely. And on days like today, you know, take what you can get. And here you're looking at 10 minutes and we'll just call that uh, 26%, 27% overall in the day. Beautiful. Being a little generous on that, but above 20% on the day. So even in tough days, our software and the indicators that are here just show it to you in color. There's, there's nothing else that needs to be done. You're looking at these colors and it's giving you all the information you need. It's fantastic. It makes things simple even on a difficult day. Wonderful. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius Daily Review for December 12th, 2018. We're here to show you that there are opportunities to make money if you know what you're doing, if you have the right tools, you have the right coaching, and you have the right mindset. And we're here to help you with all of those things. And we look forward to seeing you in our next show. Thank you, Coach Jay, for sharing this. And we'll see you next time.